two of you sitting in the boat, your boat's awash. You picture that like you're so low in the water, okay. the water is over cockpit height for the two center pavers, which is not very desirable. Where in this boat, it's very displaced because of a very large center hatch. Um, so really, it's probably the easiest thing to uh, do. And also, we're empty. If we had a really heavy load on right now, um, the boat obviously wouldn't rip, tip right back up again. It would scoop a lot of water. Whereas an empty boat, when it tips back up again, in this boat with a big center hatch, it'll come up fairly dry. Now, what are your options if you do happen to get a boat full of water and you're trying to get a rescue? Because as you can imagine, pumping is a real challenge. And we have experimented stuff and things, and we practice, like we do a lot of uh, work with our little plastic doubles at the lodge. You probably saw them there, those little plastic. Uh, yeah. And they really are worthwhile doing the same rescue use as single on those ones for anybody, because it's only 18 foot long boat. Their bow hatch doesn't take much gear. So you just treat it like a single, you come to the bow, you TX, pull it up on your boat, pour out the water, put it sideways, have the people climb in with a dry, dry boat. And what you'll find is the back cockpit will be half full maybe, and the front one will be dry, right? And that can be done on a, on a glass double too, depending on the load. And we do it as fair. If you happen to have a strong crew and you just can't think of anything else, you could actually do it on a loaded boat. What you might have to do on a loaded boat is you might actually have to have two rescuers. If you get enough power to pull the boat up onto it, you might have to have two rafted together to pull the bow up onto yourself. Can you picture that? So two boats lined up in front of me here when I'm upside down, or boats wash. You pull, both of you pulling, to pull the boat up. Can you understand what I mean? Got it. For fun, we're actually going to do a, uh, should we try actually to do a, do a, a, a TX and you can them out? So the people in the water will actually just help. So we'll pretend we don't have a center hatch, and we'll actually uh, assist Mark maybe pushing down to the stern, and he can lift the bow. Flip it over, manage just like any other rescue marks. You can tell us what to do with our paddles, where to go. But to give you a hand lifting it, we can push in the stern, and the boat should actually come up. And you should be able to pull a little way across your boat, flip it over again, get it sideways. Any ideas or any questions? No? Paddles, I just It's often a good idea if you can get them. Made in contact like questions, you know, you made in contact in rough seas. That's another thing we're doing here today. Is we want to go right there, right? Just so it's it's bouncy enough that we actually get a feeling the challenge of as uh, Garrett was finding there in his rescue. It's hard to hold on, right? Even people always watching people hook up the tow lines it's, as the waves bounce around. It's hard to hold on. Well, let's see it. Let's do it. How to rescue a tandem kayak in the middle of the Pacific Ocean with one amateur rescuer. Or with a virgin rescuer. Richard, are you leaving your sunglasses on?